school. What's good, everybody? In my video today, we're going to be looking at positive and negative slopes, and I'm going to show you guys how to identify both of them. So when we're talking about positive slopes, guys, just remember, we read a graph like how we read a book. We're going to move from left to right. And when we're following that line, if it looks like we're climbing up the stairs or going up a hill, then we should know that we are going to have a positive slope like the red line below. And if we go to our second graph, once we follow that line from left to right, we notice that we're going down the stairs or down the hill. So this would be a negative slope. And it doesn't matter where on the graph it is, whether it's in quadrant one, two, three, or four. Based on how the line is slanted upward or downward is what lets us know if it's a positive or negative slope. And just understand, guys, that slope, right, when you see the variable M, you should know that M represents slope. And you will also see it expressed as the change in Y divided by the change in x. And typically what students know that as is going to be rise over run. And if they give you a line with two points and they ask you to determine the slope, just remember that if your answer is positive, we'll have a positive slope. And if the answer is negative, we'll have a negative slope. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. So when we have two points on the graph, we have to use this equation in red, right? Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. That's basically the change in Y divided by the change in X. And let's say they give us the ordered pair. So they give us two points on the graph. First one is 7, 5, and our second one is 11, 2. So the biggest thing we have to understand is that when we're finding the slope with two points, we have to make sure that we subtract X from X, and then we make sure that we subtract Y from Y, and we have to follow the same order. And this is what I mean. So when we start off with the change in Y, I'm going to make 2 the Y2. So once I substitute this in, right, y2 minus y1, which in this problem would be 2 minus 5, now when I go to do the same thing for x, I have to start in the same parentheses as the 2, where 2 was, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 11 minus 7. If for some reason you did... 7 minus 11, that is absolutely wrong because instead of doing x2 minus x1, we're doing x1 minus x2 and the orders aren't the same from y and x, okay? So please just remember that, okay? All right, so now we go through and they are, we want to know if this is a positive or negative slope. So in this, in this problem, we would have negative 3 over four. And just understand, guys, if one of those numbers are negative, then we know that our final answer for slope would be a negative slope. So if we have negative three over four, that is a negative slope. But before we wrap this video up, guys, I want to go through some problems real quick so that we can actually apply this small lesson. So when we scroll down here, right, I'm just going to write the words in. We look at A. So as we look at A, guys, we are going up the stairs when we follow this line from left to right. So A would be considered a positive slope, right? Doesn't matter where on the graph it is, okay? As long as that line is slanting upwards from left to right, it's a positive slope. Now let's say we go over to B. So we could say the same thing with B, but it's, it's opposite. It's not going upwards when we follow it from left to right. When we start on left-hand side, right, we notice that this line is trending downwards. So B would be a negative slope. And to save some time and energy in this video, I'm not going to draw the steps for C and D, 
but we should know that C is going to be a positive slope because it looks very similar to A. And then for D, we will have a negative slope because as we can see on the, on the graph, that line is going downwards, right? It looks more like we're going down the hill. And before we wrap this up, guys, I'm going to ask that if you found this video helpful, hit the like button for us, subscribe to the channel, and just remember that there are two other types of slope. We talked about positive and negative, but please understand that if you have a vertical line, like this red line I'm showing, that means there is no slope. And no slope also means that it is undefined, meaning we, we cannot find a slope. There is no slope for it. And in that same breath, do not confuse the vertical line with the horizontal line because the horizontal line does have a slope. It does have a slope, and its slope will always be m is equal to zero. It has a slope of zero. So thank you guys for joining me today on my positive and negative slopes video. Quick review for you guys. We hope you found it helpful. And just remember these little tips when you're determining whether the slope is positive or negative. Thank you guys for joining us today.